Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Ball. What is The Ball? Well, I actually have no bloody clue. I found this on the Steam, Sp Steam Daily Sale. I looked at it. Uh, because for, at first I thought it was one of those marble games where you like tilt around the platform and the marble rolls around and you have to get it to the end. I kind of like those games, so I keep an eye on them, but I didn't expect much of it. Uh, what I saw totally was not that. Okay, so we see a ball there. So it does look like it's one of those marble games, but it, it's totally not. It's a first-person shooter built on the Unreal Engine, and uh, apparently at some point you end up in portal so i started digging into it deeper and uh the ball was made by tripwire interactive a company that i haven't played any of their games on um but they have clearly stated monetization policy which basically says that uh you can make videos of the or the, of their games uh, it just has to follow a couple rules, like if if you have a premium service, you have to be able to view the video for free, or like if you have like a partnership with like YouTube or something like that. So I'm like, all right, you convinced me. It's a buck ninety nine. It's got Portal in it, um, and you have no problem with me YouTubing it. You've convinced me. I'm buying it, and I'm gonna play it. So I have never, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Um, I looked at the options before, like I'm, I was looking at the settings, and you may have noticed that this is not 16x9, which is my usual 1280x720. Well, that's because there is no 1280x720. The closest one is 1280x800, uh, but we could do 1920x1080, but I don't record in 1080p. I always record in 720, but there is no 720, <laughs> so whatever. Uh, but we got standard controls. Uh, Wasad, spacebar jump. Um, this was actually set to C, so it was like uh, Doom 3 controls. I switched that to control because that's what I'm used to. I'm used to the Half-Life style controls. E use, H help. But then we got push ball and attract ball. Now in the trailer video, I don't remember seeing a ball at all, but apparently a ball actually exists. Um, oh, and for the record, I mean, you see like a zombie shuffling around on here. Uh, and it did have an option in the settings, uh, no gore settings. Um, I had to put in my age to just view the thing on Steam. So this is probably rated M for Mature. So anybody with a weak disposition, turn away now. All right, now that everybody's gone, let us begin. Uh, introduction, separated from... From your friend, you find yourself trapped in a cavern. On your own, until help arrives, you decide to explore. It is here where you find the strange artifact. You take it. This triggers a massive door to open. Startled, you enter and discover a strange device. The only words that comes to mind is... Ball. Despite your reservations, curi curiosity gets the better of you. You progress deeper into the earth as the air becomes stagnant and hot. Okay, so apparently this is our map of where we're going. Uh, obviously that's a picture of the big giant door. Um, uh, well, let's get started. I have no idea what I'm doing. The ball. Ooh, cutscene. I didn't see a setting for subtitles. So if there are words and you can't hear them, I'm sorry. Is that Olympus Mons? No, it's at Earth. That does look like the, that mountain on Mars. Uh, okay, so we got Indiana Jones here. Oh, we do! He even has the hat! <laughs> okay, what's going on? Oh, hey, look! Right? Subtitles! That was quite a fall you took! How am I still conscious? Listen, the crane broke down! We have to fly in a replacement, and that will take some time. Go on and explore the area. We'll meet up with you later. Okay, the audio is a little wonky. Am I in control yet? No. Okay, there we go. Can I pick up the hat? Oh, I want to pick up my hat. Ah. Shovels. Can I pick up the shovel? No. Well, it doesn't look too terribly bad. Like I said, this was built on the Unreal 3 engine. Which the Unreal 3 engine is always really quick. 
really nice engine. I always like the Unreal Engine. It doesn't look as pretty as, say, uh, what, what? Battlefield 4, yeah. Um, doesn't look as pretty as Battlefield 4, but it runs smooth as silk. Whoa! Oh, shit. I took no fall damage. Okay, so apparently this is like Portal. I wonder if I even have the things on my legs. I don't know. I can't see my legs. Uh, anyways, okay, so let's keep going. We got mushrooms here. Standard. Ooh, what is this? Can press H at any time during the game to deploy the help message. Yes, I, I know that. I'd rather not, honestly. Uh, I like figuring out the games by myself. What be this? They sh they're shields. And a spear. Okay. Where did the spear come from? That it's like pointed at this angle. Hmm, interesting. What be this? Some thing with a skull on it. That of course I just decided to pick up. Whoop, hey, where did oh there? I'm the whole way <laughs> over here. Can I pick up the money? Because those look valuable. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey, that's a giant sword. All kinds of little details. What is this? Can I do anything with it? Oh. Apparently I did something. Uh, I, I left clicked, which I believe is push. So we got push, and I believe we have pull. Everything's shaking. The lights are... Now, uh, okay, okay. I, I understand that all this is just a uh, movie kind of thing. Oh, those gears wouldn't work, by the way. The number in the bottom left is your health. What did that say? Oh, I missed it. Hmm. Anyways. Uh, apparently, the top number is the distance to my goal. Oh, and a compass. Okay, and the bottom number is my health. All right, this is a this is a button for the player. Player buttons are always blue. Walk into the button to activate it. Giant door. Okay, what I was saying before, I always I understand that this is all really just for the games and movies and stuff like that, but it always bothers me that they expect us to believe that like the Mayans and the Egyptians had huge giant machinery like this I'm, I'm i'm sorry i really don't think this can be done without like combustion engines or electricity or something oh but wait we've got lights so this is electric and of course we're holding a magical gun so i'm guessing this is alien technology I found a ball. Ooh, I can attract the ball. Pushing the ball away doesn't seem to do anything. Can I pick it up? No. Ooh, okay, I can shove the ball. It's not like a gradual thing like pulling it does. It's just this quick little burst, and I broke it. There's a hole in the ball. Oh, no, it's not. Roll the ball over to the button. I'm guessing the button's over there. That must be a huge, fr heavy freaking ball. Can I break the pots? No. Okay. I've played a lot of Tomb Raider. I didn't like Tomb Raider, but I've played a lot of Tomb Raider. So, breaking pots is common for me. Then again, I guess that could come from Zelda as well. Let's see what happens if I just do this. Hit both ball buttons with the ball to extend the two wooden bars in the middle of the room. Then walk over the wooden bars to reach the player button. Okay, I gathered that. That seems kind of obvious, actually. Um, I guess obvious, the not-so-obvious part would be the part where I get back up. Let's see, there's stairs over there. Okay, I can back up that way. Just making sure I could get back up. Pull you. Woo! Boom, baby. Alright, now do I have to take the ball with me? Oh, cool. I can aim the ball. Okay. Boom! I missed. Good. 
No, nothing. Okay. What is that? Okay. Is that a player button? No, that's not a player button. All right, let's keep walking. Let's keep playing the game. Jump. Okay. Honestly, I didn't expect him to make noise when he jumped. Push the button. You solved the puzzle. A door has opened, so you may continue. Um, the door. Whee. Okay, so... Boom! I'm taking the ball with me, because I don't know if I need it. Oh, the ball could break things. This is a checkpoint. Your health is restored. The spider webs are checkpoints? Okay. Interesting. Um, that's Mankind creepy. Mankind took the ball from them. The source of their mysterious power. They taught man many things. How to build. How to tame the land. And harness the seas. But when their children betrayed them, they guided man no longer. They recoiled and became angry, became vengeful. Mankind prayed that they would never find the ball. Did we find they right there? That, was that a monkey or just a zombie? The wood in the corridor is destroyable. Crash into it with the ball to clear the way. Okay. Uh, like that right there. Okay, I'm exploring. Just because that's how you play these kind of games. You explore. Okay, so you are a monkey. I thought you were like a zombie crit critter. Where you go, Mr. Monkey? Can I guide you? Yes, I can. Oh, no, apparently not. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what's over here? A half-closed door. Ugh. Oh, that's creepy with the spider webs. <laughs> what is this? Uh, the man came to the village and brought us to where the ground burns. It was afraid. But my husband only smiled and took me by the hand. It is a gift, he told me. A gift that will make you happy. They led us beyond the lakes of fire into halls made of metal. Halls that moved and spoke. We were terrified. We did not understand, but we trusted them. Okay, I'm going to guess at what that is. I'm not going to say what that guess is. But I'm actually going to... I, I have a guess of what that is. Whoa, come on. No, on this rock. It won't let me jump on this rock. Okay, there we go. Okay, invisible wall. I was just exploring. Why did the ball come over here? I don't want you to come over here. It's a little weird that the ball seems to be off-centered. Most help messages will no longer automatically appear from this point on. If you get stuck, press H to display the help menu. Okay. So it is one of those labyrinth things. It's just a first-person shooter labyrinth style thing. Like the magnet, for example. Okay, so that's a problem, I guess. So that gave me my ball back, but I bet you if I step off... No? Okay. I expected to step off and the magnet would, uh... Yeah. Boom! Maybe. It does look pretty interesting. I don't know. I always love puzzle games. Use them to you, you test your mind, that kind of thing. The spiders crawling on my screen are creepy, though. <laughs> I don't like spiders. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to guess that we need to take the ball. We need to put it over here. And then we need to walk over here and jump on the ball. Whoa. No, I want you to roll the other way. Ooh, physics. Awesome. Oh, nope. I can't roll the ball by standing on it. Alrighty, then. I take it that I cannot manipulate the ball at all without the gun. I kind of expected I could, like, stand on it and adjust its momentum or something, but no, apparently not. Alright, come on, Mr. Ball. <laughs> it's a weird, weird game. 
Oh, wait, no, there's a door there. I didn't see the door there. Okay, there's something over here now. What's on here? Uh, that is a ball button. And that was my cat going nuts. She hears me talking, so she thinks it's time to play. Though, you guys may not have he heard that. Do I have to put you directly on the button? Because you just relit yourself. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... So do I need to take the ball with me, or do I just need to do this? I hope that's all I needed to do. Okay, yeah, that's just a player button. Alright. Interesting. This is kind of creative. I don't know. So far, I like this game. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to keep playing it. I'm glad I picked this up. And it was a buck ninety-nine. It was 80% off, too. Maybe it was, what, like five, per five bucks? I don't know normally. Whoa, okay, that's a big hole in the ground. Does the ball need to go in the big hole in the ground? I don't want to lose the ball prematurely. Okay, the ball's going in the hole in the ground. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I do this. Whee! Oh, okay. Okay, apparently the ball doesn't get destroyed. I'm sure mine would. Yes, I made a joke there. Okay. Monkey! Oh, I killed the monkey. Both must be pressed at the same time. Stand on the player. I think I might have lost the ball. Okay, so the ball's down there now. Nope, you don't lift up. Alright, uh, I, I, I may have screwed up here. Is there a way to put... Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have realized that. <laughs> yeah, of course there's an easy way to push the ball up the hill. Yeah, I think I might have killed one of the monkeys. I didn't mean to kill the monkey. Nope. Alrighty. Through the hole. Monkey! So, um, was that the gore that this game spoke of? Where I squished a monkey? Boom! Crap. Um. Uh, what the hell? I really, really, really hope I did something useful. Okay, so I can do this. I wouldn't be able to take the ball with me even if I tried. Though, what's down here? I can come get the ball. Which, I'm going to take a guess that this is one of those incremental things. So, like, I have to do something over there and pull the ball across. But to do that, I have to go this way and go over there. Yeah. That sounds about right. So let's do that. This game does look pretty. It's I'm kind of surprised that this game looks this pretty. Okay. Uh, or not. I must be mistaken. But the ball can't go under that. Can the ball go in the lava? Well, I'm about to find out. Yes, the ball can go in the lava. Huh. Ow. I, however, cannot. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um. All right. Whoa. All right. Spikes. Problem. Whee! Should I avoid squishing the monkey? Ah. I can't run any faster. Oh, shift seems to crouch too. Going. <laughs> I caught the ball with ample time. Oh, but it's already done. Okay. Well, then, if the ball's already where I need it to be, I think, anyways, can we get the ball across the platform? No. 
so... Oh, right, right, right. I gotta put it in the lava. Duh. Duh. I just figured that out the hard way, didn't I? Need to put that in the lava. And then I need to not put myself in said lava. No, I need you to just go a little bit that way. No, not that way. Come on. No, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Come on. Stay put. Alright, this might be problematic. Alright, let's try you again. Pull you up here. Woo! I can imagine this ball is extremely hot at the moment. Alright. I can do it. I can do it! Oh, I did it! <laughs> I can squeeze through the holes. Shut. For the record, I don't know of any uh, jump. Why do I get the feeling that I missed something in there? Hmm. Whatever, I ain't going after it. <sighs> Alright, so that extended that bar and retracted that one. So let's go up here and hopefully we get something cool. And it's kind of hard to see while I'm doing this. Okay, so... Okay, so that's off to where it needs to be. Let's go back up here. So far, I haven't seen anything that wants to kill me. What is this? Place the ball near the block at the end of the corridor. Press E. Move the ball to pull the block away. Press E again to disconnect it. Okie dokie. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Interesting mechanic. Um, now my question is, was is that just something that that device does? Or did the or was the character supposed to have just wrapped a whole bunch of rope around it? Is there anything cool around here? Nope. Game on. It's like hockey. Street hockey, of course. There's a block and a bunch of breakable walls. Boom. Boom. Can I break the balls with this thing? No! Okay. Whoa! I... <sighs> Boom! Haha. <laughs> Donk. Okay. Do you have to go in here by chance? Um... I would take that as a no. You seem to be far too big to fit in the square hole. So I'm going to guess that these things need to go in there. Uh, well, it went dark, so I would assume so. Next. Where does this take me? Down! Woo. Trippy. They can fly! Great, dear geez. Can I turn that off somehow? Oh, shit, I can fly. <laughs> okay. This might be a little bit more of a direct route that I should probably be taking with this game, but... Hell, it works. <sighs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do something creative with that particular puzzle, or if I just was supposed to manhandle it into place, but... Whatever. It works. Huh? I can fly! Whee! Okay, I'd like to come down now. 
Boom. It's not in the hole. It's in the hole. Yeah. And nobody got that joke. Boom. Okay, so that makes two. So I'm going to assume that the fourth one. Yeah, no, that makes two. I'm assuming the fourth one. That makes three. And I'm assuming the fourth one is back here somewhere. Left control to crouch. I thought not the help button or the help things weren't gonna show up anymore. I mean, isn't that what they said? The helps will not show up anymore. No, no, I don't want you. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Mr. Ball, but I don't want you. I do want to get past this guy to smack him around. And see if I can get him through the hole. Yes! Yeah, for a puzzle game, this seems a lot more direct than I was actually expecting. I, I was kind of expecting more... Uh, more mind-bending puzzles so far, but... Uh, actually, this is kind of a refreshing change to have the brute force, brute force style puzzle. But I seriously, seriously, seriously want to get to the part. Hopefully that doesn't kill me when it lands. I seriously, seriously, seriously want to get to the part where um, we get into Aperture Labs. And that creeping sound was scary. Uh, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I take it this whole thing is gonna collapse. No, it didn't collapse, it just opened. Oh, okay, the ball floats. Does the ball float? No, okay, the ball does not float, but I appear to. Hang on. Oh, okay, I was apparently pressing space by accident. Somehow, and I didn't even realize it. I gotta admit, that is fun, just shooting a ball off. I wonder if that's how they started the game. They're like, you know what? I just want to shoot a ball at things. Let's make a game out of it. Time taken. 25 minutes, 39 seconds. I got beginner's luck achievements. And apparently I finished the first level. So, I guess I'm going to wrap up the first episode here. And, um... Yeah, leave a like if you like the video. I kind of like the game. Um, it looks kind of fun. I'm going. I'm definitely going to keep playing it. it. It caught my attention really quick, and it has the style of tutorial, like almost, almost, almost like Valve in Portal. But uh, in Portal, they didn't feel necessary to actually pop things up at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but this was good. I, I liked it. Okay, so, um, so, so far, thumbs up, anyways. And I only found one of four secrets. Times killed one. Well, I found one lava. Monsters killed none. Monkeys killed two. He keeps track of the monkeys? I wonder... Oh, uh, that has potential to be a bad thing. That has a potential to have a morality system, which will bite me in the ass at the end of the game because I accidentally killed the monkeys. Uh, anyways, all right, so I'm going to... Uh, end the episode here, and I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.